Good afternoon, dear viewers. We are on the construction site again. It is the Design and Technological Bureau of Olmash. I understand that I have spoken about it many times. You may be fed up with it, but let's start with that. Still, behind my back, you see groundworks again. They unload gravel, sand. Before we saw a pit, which was quite significant in terms of its size. Sand cushion was done. And now you see that gravel is brought in. Foundation is prepared for laying asphalt. From the facade part of the building. Processes are underway. Improvement of territory. There where we used to have bumps, trenches, communications. Now it is getting more and more decent. Now let's turn around. I will go around and you will go from this side. Look, on the left of the building, it looks like that. Everything is prepared. Everything is prepared for big scale work. For laying asphalt. However, the thing that remains is laying curbstone. And then we will lay asphalt. Beyond the curbstone, we have the same groundwork. There will be communications, lighting cable, telemetry, video surveillance, quite a lot of things. Even though I should say that now there is already video surveillance and some peripheral equipment working inside the building. Everything is recorded on servers. Let's now move there. Let's go to the site which is in the back. There where the ramp is. Ramp for unloading. Let's look at what is going on there. I would like to know the following. Work is already finished here. And this fact allowed us to lay a road. To roll this road with gravel. And to assure a driveway to the back part of the site. Please show it here. Here we have transformers. Here we have many, many cables. On the left, you see grounding. Here you see the sleeve. The sleeve for lighting support. You see those tubes for laying cables. Many, many, many things. Here, nearby, we have a room where distribution high voltage equipment will be located. Work is going on there as well. Please note that. Note how intense it is. Special boards are installed and cable channels. High voltage cables. These high voltage cables are already laid on that side. They are buried. And our having laid them allowed us to do what? To assure this driveway and to assure a scope of work for laying asphalt. As for our site, there it is. Please show that. Let's move on. Look what is being done there. Intense work is underway to unload construction materials. You see it there, right? One, two, three trucks. It's all lifted and brought into the building. Here, curbstone is being relayed because there were some remarks that we made. And this is high voltage unit.
the distribution board. There is already the cable coil there. Work is now underway to connect all of it. Well, it's not such a big scope of work that was to be performed earlier. Colossal, huge scope of work has been performed. It was huge. The main thing for us is to maintain the pace. If we continue in the same pace or even at a more intense pace, why? Because now we are working on asphalt. This is the first layer of asphalt. Let me show you another interesting place. Some people are asking, why do you not continue? We will continue after laying the curbstone. The most interesting thing is that now we have taken samples, samples of asphalt. Please show that, this spot there. You see, we have removed a cube, and this cube was sent to a lab to check the quality of asphalt coating. Here you see that the fence has been dismantled. The construction, fencing, it has been removed completely. And there we see Technopolis fence. And our barrier will be further away. The fence should be made of polycarbonate. It must be transparent, not to give shadow to some residents. At the same time, it should absorb noise. So we have quite a lot of work to do here as well. And another thing, if you show it from there, there are cables sticking out as well. There and on the other side as well. It's all lighting along the perimeter. It should be done as well. Please show it in that direction as well. There is a big pipe there. There are white casings made of galvanized steel. It is for installing supports for lighting. And the black tube, the black pipe, This pipe is there to put water supply in it. It is the casing tube. Here you see cables. There is a lot of that inside. Cables have been brought here today. To connect high consumption equipment, very high consumption equipment. And now on this side, we are preparing a cost estimate, preparation for placing an order for fence, for permanent fence. We will have to finish work here, on this side. But it's best of all to finish it when there is asphalt laid here. Where we will be able to work here, use cranes and so on. It will be much more convenient in this case. And to finish with exterior territories, we will now go to the facade part. And we will look at what is being done there. You see that the territory is being cleared from concrete foundations of the fence, from broken plates, from remainders of materials. Every day is done every day. We have a toolbox meeting every day dedicated to this. And the site is getting more and more clear. Here you see the remainders of the road, of the temporary coating that was here. That was done at the initial stage. You see some rudiments here as well. You see that we are pulling all of it out, we are removing all of it. The cables of temporary electricity supply. Half an hour ago we were discussing their dismantling cables here. A little bit of broken plates here. Some working ways. All of that is being removed. It is being eliminated. Be careful here.
And now we will come up to a site to one of the sites. Here, yesterday, work was completed. Here you see casings. It is optic fiber cable. It will go out there and it will get to the dispatching unit. Let's move here because we are on the way of bulldozer. Two days ago, huge holes were dug. What is there in those holes? They're wells. Here they are, wells of telecommunications. And everything gets to the dispatching unit from these wells. Then there is the next well. And then in the direction to those gates. And a control unit is there as well. Here in front of the building, in the facade part. Geotextile is laid and backfill with sand is being performed with layer by layer compacting. Car wells are washed. They leave the premises clean and well washed. Let's come up to this place. Let's get to this edge. You see cables? Those that will be at the control checkpoint. Here there is a pipe. A casing which is put through. You see how many wells there are. You see warehouses there. There is fencing there, a warehouse here as well, some wells, some leads, a pipe for piercing wells, and the pipe for stormwater drainage. Now, let's look at this side. You can see that it looks much more decent. And on Monday you will see a totally different picture. And we have some remarks to fire treatment. But it is our guarantee claim. Let's move on, let's try to get to this side. What is going on here? We're now going beyond the territory. Here, little time ago, this was dug up. You see that it has already been eliminated. Some more cleanup is required. Well, rain prevented us from that today, but it will soon be finished. But we are not going to lay asphalt yet. Why? Because we have discontinuities here. We will dig up asphalt here again. Because we will need to connect our pipe to the main pipe. And here, I will come up to this place for you to see. Here we see that all the work has been performed for backfill. It goes up to the place where hydro isolation is done. It has been completed. We will be able to backfill and to put it in order. And this site will look decent for one or two days. After that, another Armageddon will begin.
On this spot, a pit will be placed of big depth, 6.5 or 7 meters, to do the piercing. Thus, utility sewage has been connected. Heating main as well. We can say that it is at its final stage. Backfill is to be done, actually. There is some more work left there for hydro isolation of trays, but, well, we can consider that it's small work. Still, let's not state that work there has been completed. No, it's in the process. So, sewage, heat supply, and then it will be what? Stormwater drainage. It is a real problem now. When it rains, the site is flooded. Here on this side, you see sand for backfill, and there are pipes next to it for the pit, for the piercing. These pipes and those pipes. And you can also see those uh, plastic barrels or wells. There are eight of them. They will be placed on the territory, but not for asphalt. They will be installed on lawn. It is done for lighting and other things. And stock of cable. Will you backfill it today? Yes. Great job. Guys, we'll start backfilling of this part. It will be quite beautiful here. Let's move on. On the left side, all transfer communications have been laid. And on the right side, well, let's go have a look. What is being done there? It is quite a convenient passage. You see Technical there. All of that will be thrown away, all that waste. Place will also be removed. Here you see backfill of grounding. Our headquarters, construction headquarters. And here we are working. We can walk here. It was quite problematic to do it before. We are now going along the contour of the heating main. This is the chamber, bringing in water into the building. Fire hydrant, which sticks out. All connections are done in the chamber. And we are now going along the heating main. As a matter of fact, we discussed it with Alexander Sudorov the other day. We have been digging up soil for almost a year. This is what it looks like from here. How much you need to dig and bury. Dig and bury. A temporary road here. And here you can evaluate how much ground is to be put here. You see wells on the left side. You can see utility lines sticking out. All of that is to be backfilled. It's all the volume of backfill. And for us to get there, we need to do utility lines in a transverse way from the platform to lay pipes in casings for cooling agent. From the site with climate equipment to the room where there are compressors, big compressors that will assure good microclimate inside the building. So, colleagues, you see that colossal work has been done. Wherever you stand, it was dug up. Wherever you go, Wherever you come up, there are some utility lines there. There we have grounding. There we have pipes, tubes, more and more of them everywhere. All the territory is stuck with them. Tightly. As for the volume, as for the scale, as for intensity of work, 
Honestly, this work is worthy. It is worth speaking about. Because ground always has surprises in it. We have had floodings and ground failures and frosting. We had everything. Because we have been digging it up for a year. As for the area of this work, this area is not less than what we have in the building itself. So you can imagine it. When they say like, come on, do it more quickly, improve it, do it quickly, I would be happy to do it. I would be happy to improve it quickly. By the way, yesterday at the webinar a question was asked, quite an interesting question, that Yuniski and his wife invested in the project. Do family members of employees of the project, do they invest? Do you remember that question, Alexander? Yes. And I thought, and what did I invest in the project, apart from my labor? Well, just to estimate it roughly, Capital Construction Management used to work here. Yes, they were directors. Everyone likes to be a director. I'm the only one who is not a director. Now they're not there. Their functions are fulfilled by project manager. And who is project manager? There is a person. His name is Mitra Alexandrovich Dudov. That's me who is doing that. The money to remunerate this job is not spent every month. This money goes to finance the project. Is it investment? Well, kind of. It is cost reduction. And girls in the economic department, they are really fighting for each ruble. They are searching for errors. Is that investment? Or when our colleagues place equipment with their own hands and thus they reduce the cost for installation of the thermal point by several million. Is that investment? Or when they select equipment and find optimal equipment in terms of price and how to acquire it for water meter units, for thermal point, for internal utilities. Is that investment? So we invest in an invisible way by doing our work with good quality and by reducing costs in the project. It is also a kind of investment. Think about it. And all Savalmash employees do that. Those who develop their prototypes of equipment, that's also investment. Let's move on. We have seen the external utility lines. We have seen improvement. And now we need to look at what is being done inside, inside the building. There is a kind of Armageddon as well. Kind of Armageddon. We are going to leave this area. We are now walking along areas where equipment is running. They are now clearing the remainders. Good afternoon. Remainders of metal. Let's go around the external territory. Not to pass between excavators. And you see that now there is much more equipment on the side. I hope that next week it will be even more of it here. It is all thanks to the fact that there are promotions to accelerate this work, the rough ones to speed up the work. Promotions were held and it allowed us to accelerate in executing the work. You see a fence 
concrete foundation is painted, because some guests are expected here, they're expected. I won't say who it is. You see that cars are washing the roads. We are cleaning up here. This time rain helped us a little bit. It washed away dust from asphalt. Dust that we couldn't sweep away ourselves. You have already seen the screed in the building. There is nothing new and attractive there. Screed is done in the ground floor. You saw the tiles. A thousand cubic meters of porcelain tiles were brought. And for the floor of the ground floor, another batch of tiles has been brought. The excavator is working and there is unloading going on. We will now try to pass here as well. There there are pegs, reference points, pegs there as well, that mark up certain things. It's good to go down a decline. You just stamp off dirt from your feet. Here, colleagues and distinguished viewers, we're now on the ground floor of the administrative and utility building. What is going on here? Good afternoon. Finishing is going on here. And we need to perform finishing in this very room. It is a dispatching unit. Why do we need that? Please show what is being done here. And those hanging things from the ceiling. They are networks. Information about work of all of the equipment will come here. Video surveillance, thermal units, all engineering. More than 6,000 sensors will be here, and information will come here to the dispatching unit. Tiles are already laid here, they are covered, and now there is finishing work going on. Today we spoke about lighting, please show us the ceiling, what is done above my head. Can you imagine? For the guys to finish work, they just need to put it there and to connect. This is the work going on here. Let's go here. You see all those suspensions? The floor can already be opened. Here walls are covered with putty. You come in here and you see that it's much lighter, much lighter. And there is more and more volume of finishing work going on. Finishing is being completed. All of it is becoming more and more elegant. Let's look up. They drill holes for ventilation, for fire suppression, sprinkler systems. Let's get here. We'll show you that it's a dark corridor that we are passing. Please show the ceiling above. You see there are pipes. It is a system of automatic fire suppression. They are engineering networks. Works are very active here. 
there was a little slowdown some time ago. There were objective reasons for that. But we have had time to solve all of it in good time. I don't want to blame anyone. I need to blame myself first of all. Because I need to control things myself. Here it is closed. You guys worked on it for a long time. It's important that it's a station of automatic fire suppression. It is being welded. It is being put together. Piping is done. You guys worked until late yesterday. Water unit. It was brought and delivered here. Just like the central water meter unit, it has also been delivered here. Although it was kind of missed at some point. Let me show you another thing. Yesterday we received this machine. The guys connected it yesterday and they tried it yesterday as well. What is it about? What does it do? It is real insulation material. It is cut into spools of the required width to make slot isolation. And to put it in status. Here they are, the status. Look. This is slot insulation in status. I will show you how it is done. By the way, here we see the casing machine that was kind of a nuisance because this controller failed suddenly. We had claims with Chinese, they put a new one but it had a different firmware, then we changed it. So now it has a second life. Thus we can continue work to adjust the line. It is a machine for putting in winding. And this is a slot machine. And for the slot machine, you cut a ribbon of this width to make a slot box and to put it in the motor. Here is the stator. This is the machine that does the job. It makes such boxes. Then it is cut, it is folded, it is rolled, and then it is put in there. And this ribbon is cut for what? When winding is put in, then it is folded and then it closes the slot for winding not to get out of it. Now this side is being adjusted. So this is the work which is going on here. And please note the size of the slot machine. Now look at the size of our slot machine. It is for the angle grinder and this one is for the motor. Can you see the difference? Can you see the difference, guys? Their unit and our unit. They are saying, why develop it? You can just buy it. Well, we can produce it. How much space do you need to place such machines and machines like ours? And space means maintaining it and paying for it, renting it. You have to pay for everything. What are developers busy with? What are designers busy with? Production people, what are they busy with? They are creating such engineering equipment. And that machine, there. Let's compare. Let's compare. Is it the same one? This one. Is it the longest? And apart from working with the construction, with everything, our employees designed and developed and manufactured equipment. What else can I say? Those who haven't seen, look.
you saw 15 kilometers of cable. And this is the switchboard room. There are two such rooms. Electric supply of all sides will happen from here. And load for each side will be controlled. And will be supplied to the dispatching room. And what is here? They are stands where there are many, many cables coming in. We have many of them on different floors. All information, all telemetry, internet, surveillance, everything is brought in here. Let's move on. You see cables that are laid there. There was some work done. There was a meeting today. About where to drive electric supply to, first of all. Because we need to continue our work in terms of pouring. And now we are approaching a very interesting site. You have already seen it. It is an individual thermal unit. What is happening here? The guys are fighting with circumstances very bravely. Look, the thermal main which you saw from the outside. It is here. It is showing its trunk to us. Now the guys are welding. There will be another valve for disconnection. There is a cross dike here for it to move along the contour. These shut off ball valves. Work is going on for piping of the individual thermal unit. The crew is working professionally and quickly, with good quality. And you can imagine what they're working with. When they have to lift it to this height, such pipes, and then they weld it. And then it will all need to be painted and then insulated. And before that, hydraulic testing will need to be done. A lot of work. Be careful. However, even if we make the thermal point, it doesn't guarantee heat supply. For that, according to the design scheme, electrical supply, water supply must be performed as well as sewage, and then we'll need to perform a big scope of work in terms of documentation. Let's come in here. Builders are resting here. And when the work is finished, water meter unit will be assembled here. Equipment has already been delivered on the site. You can judge for yourself about what is going on on the site. Every day, every day. Things change here every day. If you look here, if you look in this room, let's peep in. You see stock of materials for finishing. Mostly for finishing. This is for maintenance if something was damaged. Stock of materials here as well, here as well. Can you see it? Today, a thousand square meters of tiles have arrived. What for? We show to you staircases that were done. But if we come in here, you see finishing here? Rough finishing. Let's come in here. You guys, don't be shy. You will be filmed. Now they're finishing the staircase. They will put tiles here, on the stairs. Not to slow down their work, tiles were delivered today. There is also work going on for finishing in the administrative and utility building. It's all discussed and it's done with the participation of employees. Each employee is taking part in discussions. 
we're discussing finishing. For everyone to work with pleasure. Here you see packs of percentiles and what a meter units there are components of it. What else would I want to add to that? So I would like to obtain a permission for using a drone and to film all of it from the draw next week. We haven't done it for a long time. I guess that you will feel a significant difference. I've just told you a little part of what is going on. Believe me, many more things are happening here. Employees like Alexander and the others. They walk around the site all the time. Now permission is being obtained for working in the thermal unit. Work is in progress for the post address, for police address. It is done to get a cadastral plan. It is needed to get a certificate, an act of end of construction. And for the post address, and if we are owners of it, then legal address will be transferred here as well. It's all organizational work. And to get an act of Completion of construction, 36 packs of documents are to be formed, including contractors, subcontractors, everyone who was involved in the process, which materials were used. It's a colossal scope of work. I don't think that many can imagine what it is. All materials, all remarks that were made as well. Remarks by controlling authorities and elimination of those remarks. All of it is to be collected. It is volumes of documents, you know, 36 packages, hundreds of folders. Imagine that. And we need people for that. Who does it? Employees. Employees. You can't do it otherwise. We now introduced changes into architecture solution. We will need to introduce some more changes because we are constantly improving the project and we are changing some things. For example, a pipe with water should be marked with green according to the project. But we were not happy with it. We we'll look at where the standard allows that. For example, if you do internal finishing, you can use a different color. But there where there are connection points, you need to mark the color and then you mark it every 10 meters. So we will remake it and it's just a small portion of it. All of it will be remade. Changes will be introduced, it will be improved, it will be validated. And all this work is happening apart from construction, apart from supervision and control. And it's done with our own forces. And there are also designs that we are making and many other things. So the volume of work is increasing every day. Plus they put pressure on us, like guys, do it more quickly. Some more is left. Finish the site. But well, if we finish it, then everyone will be coming here and it will not be possible to work anymore. They tell us, can you speed up? Well, yes, if we work at night. If we run around here at night. Actually, to speed up, we need more people. And for that, we need to pay them. We should work in compliance with the means that we receive. You see for yourself that it's rather clean inside the building. Many are surprised that it is rather clean on the construction site. Well, we are going to work and not spread dirt everywhere. That is why we have this attitude. And we nurture this culture of labor here. We try to maintain it. And we motivate everyone who is working on the site to that. Hopefully, it wasn't boring. I told you about what is happening here. Show that, please. 
By the way, swallows flew away with little ones. They always told us when strangers were coming in, they started to cry. They know those who are working here, but they always shouted and cried when a stranger was coming in. But now they flew away. Our guardians flew away. They violated the water a little bit, but it was very lively and very pleasant. The cat as well. The cat Vaska, he comes at night. He was constantly unhappy with the disorder that was there, because he didn't allow it to get to the control point, even though they were always giving him different tasty things. I thank you for your attention. Take care of yourselves. Watch the project if you are interested in it. We will share many more interesting things with you. I'm not inviting you to the laboratory now, because tests are running there now. Let's not disturb them. Have a good day. I wish you good mood. High spirits. Don't rely on anyone, only rely on yourself. Goodbye. And when we were finishing the filming, we found a very interesting document in the headquarters. It's a plan of fight, a battlefield. Here you see which works have already been done related to external utilities and what is to be done. What is colored has already been completed and what is not colored here and here, it is work to be done. But I think that you can see with the naked eye that most tasks set for builders have been fully completed.